Welcome to a quick overview of the Intel Empyrean Power Configurator Graphical User Interface. The GUI supports the EM21 and EM22 families of Power SoC devices, as well as the new ED8401 family of multi-phase controllers. The GUI allows full access to the device's features using PMBus interface. To use the GUI with an Empyrean evaluation board, connect the EM2 COMIF dongle from the PM bus connector on the evaluation board to a USB port on the computer. The power configurator can be downloaded by going to the product pages of any supported devices, such as the ED8401. Let's go ahead and start the GUI and take a look at its features. The first thing you'll notice is a pop-up window asking which device is being targeted. The choices include the EM21 family, EM22 family, as well as the new ED8401 multi-phase digital controller family. Notice the ED8401 family is offered in four phase, three phase, and two phase flavors. If no device is physically connected, uncheck device required and then select a device. Since the ED8401 evaluation board is connected, let's go ahead and select the four phase ED8401. You will notice immediately the name on the top, the Intel Empyrean Digital Power Configurator. Also on the screen is a pane on the left and a few tabs on top, which we will go through now. The pane on the left identifies an ED8401 P01 device connected at address hex 44. It's important to note that multiple devices at different addresses can be controlled by this GUI. The pane also shows device information such as firmware revision and a write button, which will write to volatile memory. If you should choose to make any changes to the device settings and store these changes in the device, you would click the write volatile button. The power stage tab shows the typical circuit for reference and details on the device settings. The VN input that the user enters is used to provide the scaling for UVLO that we will talk about a little later in this video. Profile details are included, and the section below shows the default output capacitance that this configuration is tuned for. Moving on to the pin tab, RV set is a pin strap option to set the output voltage via resistor on board to any value shown here. Since we are using PM bus to communicate to the device, we need to disable the pin strap mode. This is accomplished by setting RV set to disabled. Similarly, we also set R tune to disabled for PM bus control. Let's take a look at the configuration tab now. This tab allows programming the rise and fall times, the on and off delays, and other timing settings. This also allows the user to set pre-bias settings on Vout and control shutdown to be sequenced down or immediate off. Next, let's look at the protection tab. This tab allows user programmability for protection thresholds such as VN, Vout, and temperature. The user can set these parameters either as a percentage or an absolute value that will trip the faults to suit their unique needs. The VN on off level shown here is scaled as a percentage of the user input on the power stage tab that we mentioned earlier. Temp INT and temp EXT temperature must fall below these levels before the controller will attempt to restart after a temperature fault. The control and program tab allows the user to save any changes that are made to the default configuration to be stored into the non-volatile memory. The user also has the option to read and write hex values directly to the PM bus registers. The available capacity to reprogram the non-volatile memory is also shown here. The status and monitor tab allows the user to monitor in real time the various system monitoring signals. As you can see here on Vout, we are disabled by default. By simply toggling the control pin, we can turn on the device and see the output go to 0.9 volts in this case. The Compensator tab is a very simple way to automatically configure the ED8401 compensation, depending on the output capacitors used in the design, to meet the challenging FPGA requirements. 
And that concludes our overview of the Intel Imperion Digital Power Configurator GUI.